Hey everyone, it's Zach Beck. Meme stock mania has struck again. It started with GameStop earlier this year when that stock went to the moon before crashing back down. And now it has come for AMC. This movie theater chain was thought it was going to go out of business a few months ago, and now its stock is going to the moon thanks in large part to individuals on Reddit and people trading on applications such as Robinhood. So you might be asking yourself, should I invest right now? So what I wanna do in this video is break down in detail what is going on with the AMC stock, what is causing all this price fluctuation, and if it's a good time for you to actually place your money into this potential meme. So let's take our time, dive in the details, and jump into it right now. As previously mentioned, the AMC stock is going up significantly as of late. This is thanks in large part to what is happening on Wall Street, specifically with hedge funds who have shorted the stock. Now, what a short is, is basically hedge funds believe that this particular stock price will go down over time. This is exactly what happened with GameStop previously, where they were thinking that brick and mortar retailers such as GameStop would not be successful long term, in the same way a brick and mortar AMC movie theater they thought would not work as well. Thanks in large part to the pandemic and streaming services, it was thought that this business model might go away. But what we're finding now is that as the pandemic is subsiding, people are actually going out into the economy, going to movies, and actually wanting to participate a little bit more outside of being cooped up in their house. So what happens is basically a short is when this hedge fund believes the stock share is going to go down. And then on Reddit, we have people on Wall Street Bets who basically collectively working together to buy up those shares to prevent the short sellers from being able to sell the position. And what happens is that those short sellers have to pay an interest on a daily basis until they can cover their overall short position. So if the stock price continues to go up, it's basically an infinite money loop where that is never going to come back down. So some people are thinking that the AMC stock could go up to $100,000. Now that is a pretty insane assertion when you think about it on the surface, but when you pull back the layers of the onion a little bit, you might see that that is not too crazy considering the possibility of what is going on with the short sellers. So let's talk a little bit more about that right now. So basically we're in a big staring contest between hedge funds and retail traders on Reddit and people out utilizing Robinhood and other applications to be able to purchase this stock. And it's a matter of who's going to blink first. So when you think about this, basically the way it works is that if the retail traders continue to buy up the stock, it will continue to send the shares higher. And then those short positions have to cover the interest on the stock, sending the stock higher. So it's basically this infinite money loop. So if people on Reddit have what they call diamond hands, then they're going to be able to continue moving forward. However, if people have what is called paper hands, meaning if they sell the stock, then it's likely the stock is going to go down. So we can look a little bit at history to see what the likelihood of this actually continuing to progress actually looks like. So with GameStop, people thought similarly that the price of the stock could actually go up into the thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars because of this infinite money loop or what we could consider a glitch in the financial system. But ultimately what happened was retail traders ended up selling and the hedge funds actually benefited from that. Now hedge funds, when I would say benefited, is probably too strong of a word. They did lose a lot of money, but relative to their overall balance sheet, it wasn't that significant. What we've already found though with the AMC saga that's going on right now is that hedge funds have already lost $1.2 billion over the course of the last week, and it looks like they're on track to actually lose upwards of $5 billion so far. Now that being said, it is conceivable that if retail traders hold and have what is called diamond hands, I'm not telling you to do that, but if they do, then it looks like it's possible that this sh the share prices could continue to go forward. So from that standpoint alone, what do you think it's going to be? If it goes up to $100,000, that would be worth almost more than the entire market cap of the entire stock market. It would be worth like 72 times more than Tesla, multiple times more than Apple and Facebook and other large companies. So the likelihood of that actually occurring is probably relatively slim. So if you're looking at this through the lens of the possibility of a get rich quick scheme, I would say tread with caution because we already saw this happen previously with GameStop. It doesn't mean that this could necessarily go all the way to the moon, but it is a cautionary tale that we can look at that GameStop reached into the 450, almost $500 range, and then it came back down. Although it has been hovering now in the 200s, it's something that didn't ever get up to the echelons that people were expecting. Now, people who got in super early buying stock shares, maybe in the one single digit uh, price, they are the ones who benefit a lot. But if you're looking at it right now to purchase the stock share where the price is right now for AMC, you're going to have to have a multiple significant enough for it to be worth you to actually place your money 
in there. And bear in mind that you want to be really cautious that when you're doing so, that you're not looking at this as more of an investment. You're looking at more as speculation because there have been wild swings over the last couple of weeks, specifically in these share prices. We've seen AMC stock go up 95% in one day, down 30% a day. And if you hold up your phone on Robinhood with the share price, you'll just see it kind of continuously going up and down, up and down, similarly with other, other meme stocks like BlackBerry. So from that standpoint alone, you have to be willing to stomach the ride and realize that the only way you're going to benefit from this is if you time it really well. And like I talk about frequently on this channel, you wanna not try to time the market because it's very difficult to do so. But if you're gonna take this risk and be more speculative and gonna place money into this stock, you really wanna be cautious in doing so. But if you do, just make sure that once you reach the profit threshold that you're wanting to hit, that's when you wanna sell. People talk all the time about having diamond hands and that means basically holding no matter what. And you know what, that is cool for certain people wanna do that and it's kind of a collective way of feeling prideful about being able to continue to stick it to the man or anything like that. But you have to be cautious about the money that you're investing. This is money that you've worked hard for. You don't want to lose it. It's easy to have diamond hands when the profits are significant, but it's much more difficult to have that when you see the price go down, which we've already seen people start to lose money on this. So just be cautious. Don't do everything you can to place your whole life savings or YOLO everything into it. You don't want to necessarily do that unless you're willing to lose it all. And that's one of the things without risk come no, no reward. So if you want to do it, that is totally up to your discretion. That is different than what I do. I personally do not apply myself in this regard, but it's up to your discretion. Now, there are pretty significant differences between the way AMC has handled this situation in comparison to how GameStop handled this situation previously. The CEO of AMC is actively engaged on Reddit, someone who understands what is going on in the retail trading space, and he's actually been capitalizing on the situation. What they actually did is AMC issued 8.5 million shares to Mudra Capital, who then immediately sold the shares around in one day, making about a $40 million profit. This raised over $200 million for AMC that they can apply towards purchasing new products properties or covering some of their debt or being able to expand their business model. So that was a very wise decision that was made, but that was also the CEO working directly with a hedge fund. So it's very interesting to see that happen. In addition, they are wanting to issue and ask shareholders to issue 25 million more shares of AMC, which in essence would actually dilute the number of shares that are out there and actually cause the price to go down. But what he is saying is that hopefully that'll generate more revenue for the company long term. In addition, what they have proposed is AMC has already sold a significant number of their shares and they're looking to reinvest back into the company. So from that standpoint alone, AMC is understanding they've kind of caught lightning in a bottle and they're trying to make sure that they do their best to benefit from it. But when you think about it from a retail trading standpoint for yourself, if you're considering to put your life savings into this or your money into this, realize that the individuals who are making decisions relative to where that money is going to go are making the best decision that they believe for their company, but also they benefit as well as shareholders. Right now, the CEO of AMC, his shares are worth over $200 million. So when you think about where you stand in relation to that, you want to be really cautious that you don't get caught up in this hype because you could potentially be what's called the bag holder at the end of the day and losing money as opposed to gaining money. And even in a letter that was issued by the SEC, uh, they actually filed with the SEC, AMC really cautioned that retail investors should not be putting money into AMC right now because they believe that the stock market is too fluctuating and it's too volatile right now. So even that standpoint alone is something that we should tread with caution. Now, I know it's easy to receive confirmation bias. If you're on Reddit, if you're continuously hearing other people saying diamond hands or AMC to the moon or anything to that extent, and we believe the hype, but those people will not be there with you if the stock price goes down and you lose all of your money. So really understand that if you're going to jump into the situation, you want to do so with very clear, sober thinking, understanding that you're possibly going to lose a lot of money as opposed to gain a lot of money, but you might gain a lot of money as well. And if you do, congratulations, and I wish the best for you. I just would say it's a cautious thing you want to approach this with because you stand to benefit or you stand to lose a lot. And it's not one of those things where you're going to find yourself in the middle. With all that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching the video today. If you wouldn't mind, please tap the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Help push this video to other people who might need to hear it. Furthermore, if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'd love to interact with you, get to know you, do any research on your behalf so that you can make well and wise informed decisions moving forward. 
Furthermore, if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to the channel. That would mean a lot to myself personally, as I do everything I can to create positive content that makes a positive impact in your life by encouraging you and myself to lead lives of meaning and purpose, all while maintaining balanced moderation. And if you do subscribe to the channel, please tap the notification bell. That will notify you every time I post a video, which I do on a weekly basis. Once again, I'd like to thank you for watching the video today. I hope you have a wonderful mayor day. Talk to you next time. Whoopshoo.